Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use the MirrorMe plugin, one of the recent plugins from Astute Graphics. I'm going to use it with the Witscribe plugin, that also from Astute Graphics. Just going to show you how to use them in combination. Right, this is an Illustrator CC. I'm just going to go over to Illustrator now. Now, you can use obviously the Witscribe plugin in numerous ways, and there's lots of tutorials about that as well. So, but I'm just going to show you how I will quickly use it to create a sort of very dramatic effects line, zoom, whatever you want to call it, design. So just going to draw a line, a couple of lines, and just going to set the size about five. Going to give it a width profile, just a default width profile, maybe make it a bit bigger than that. Drag that across. Now to duplicate, just use the obviously Alt, hold the Alt key down, just drag, just create about five, six of these. And once you've done that, just going to select those, but now go to the mirror me. And as soon as you do that, you can actually see as you do it, you've got symmetrical design in the active area. You can just see the active area there and I just drag that out so you can see even more intense designs. So just going to click there, apply to layer. And I'm using a 10 axis at this point. So you can see all the designs all the way around here. Now, I'm going to go to the Width Scribe, and that's another plugin, like I say, Width Gradient tool. I'm just going to select that one here. And you get a variety of options here. I'm just going to create the size of the uh, stroke between 25 and 1 point. And actually, as it modifies the gradient, I'm just going to show you as it, I pass this across over the area. And you can just see it massively, just the arch goes to 25. Of course, you can drag that out, and it will change the size of the line, affect it very quick and easy based on this this gradient set up here contour over here and of course you can just change that you can just do it until you're happy with the design you can make sort of zoom out so it's a quick and easy way of creating really dramatic uh, um, high impact effect lines or whatever you want to call them uh, of course you could do it at different angles and different uh, different ways i mean you don't have to just stick with that and of course you can go back to the mirror me at any point i'm just going to select the mirror me just drag that around and you can see the effect again that that would have on those lines apply to layer again and it would just extends that out and see so create that so back to there with and of course you can also modify it here so just change that maybe not 25 24 let's go for a bit less and just drag that down reapply gradient and straight away that reflects across there All right so i've done that i'm just going to quickly remove the layer axis so you can actually see the design of course that's just standard pass you can of course modify the whole thing once you've done that if you wish you can just go select all and just go to the uh, thing and actually just change the lot if you wish and then of course it's not symmetrical anymore but you can actually just radically change the design for the whole design 